Now, for today, in the next 25 minutes, I want to talk to you under this topic. A wake-up call. A wake-up call. You look at the picture, it is very clear what I've given you. A wake-up call. Look at the person next to you and say, it's time to wake up. Maybe the other one does not take you serious. Look at the other one and say, it's time to wake up. Hallelujah. As a single person, as a married person, it is time to wake up. As an African person, it's time to wake up. It's time to wake up. Praise the name of Jesus. Now listen to me. It was somewhere in 1769, a man by the name of Napoleon Bonaparte. Those of you who have done history will remember this word. Now this man, he picked up a map, you know, of the world. He picked up a map of the world and then he saw, he pointed at China. Somewhere in the 1700s, he pointed at China and listen what he said. He said, let her sleep. For when she wakes, she will shake the world. Did you hear what I said? Many years ago, this is what this man said. And today, that prophecy has become alive. It has become a reality. But many years ago, he said, let her sleep. For when she wakes, she will shake the world. Listen to me, beloved. Today, I strongly believe that the devil is looking at the church. The devil is looking at us this morning. He's looking at this man. He's looking at this woman. He's looking at many of us. He says, let them sleep. For when they awake, they will shake the world. Listen to me. Somebody wants you to remain asleep. There are people who are comfortable while you are fast asleep because they know the danger that you're going to be while you are wide awake. So they pray. Magalale, 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 ngoba magangavuga uzaba ingosi. Some of you already, you can tell where I am going. There's a church of Jesus. It is fast asleep. There are sons and daughters in the kingdom. They are fast asleep. The devil is looking at this boy who is under addiction. He says, let him continue. Because fuga. There's a problem. The devil is looking at this young girl. You have given your life to this boy. You are fast asleep. And the devil says, let her remain there. Depending on the life of this man. Because man and Vuga are independent. There are things that are going to happen. Please. You may forget everything, but what I'm saying, but listen to this. Wake up. Wake up. Those of you who are under the influence of alcohol and drugs, wake up. Those of you who are under bondage, wake up. There is only one person who wants you there, and his name is the devil. He is happy while you are under bondage. He is happy while you are dying in that situation because he knows the future. Just like this man, he said, let China sleep because if he can discover its power, we are in a serious problem. And look at what China is today. Wake up call. What is a wake up call, pastor? A wake up call is an alarm clock or something that alerts people to an unsatisfactory situation and prompts them to remedy it. Did you hear what I said? I said a wake-up call is an alarm clock or something that alerts people to an unsatisfactory situation. It is that thing that comes to you and says where you are, 
you are not in the right place. Where you are, you are actually heading into the wrong direction. So it is the alarm clock that makes you aware that you are walking in the wrong direction. Change your position or change your direction. So the question is, what a wake-up call does, Bamba? What a wake-up call does? Listen to me. It signals the end of a night of sleep and the start of a new day. A wake-up call simply says, you know, the time for sleeping, it's over. Now it is the start of a new day. That is what an alarm clock, you know, or a webcam call does. It says, It is time. And number two, a wake-up call, it signals the end of the warmth and comfort of your bed and the beginning of a new day of work. It says the time of comfort is over. It is time now to wake up and go to work because you cannot remain in a comfort zone forever. Are you with me? It also signals the end of being deceived and played by others. That's what I'm saying. The controversy is one thing. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. But people are being deceived. It signals the end of being deceived and played by others. Listen to me, child of God. You must make it a point that this year, good is enough. They've played with you. But when the song is in, did I say that? Ben funa go to walala. Guvelo ga punyo gan jeli mimutana. Praise the name of Jesus. Go to this year. Ufano tinga ngilala ngilala enough. Are you with me, child of God? They keep on coming to, to you and say, I love you. They buy you present and they are after something. But 2024, you need to walk tall and say, enough is enough. I cannot be deceived. I cannot be played. I have been abused. Enough is enough. It is time for me to take responsibility. It also seeks now the time to get up and confront your fears. A time to assume responsibility. You are saying it is time for me to assume responsibility. 2024, it is time to get up, my dear. It is time to get up, my dear. My brother, it is time to confront your fears. The very same thing that you are scared of, confront them. You know, often in the scripture, as the church, we are given a wake-up call. As a nation, we are given a wake-up call. We are warned of dangers of all types. Are you with me? Dangers of all types. There are types, you know, of sleep that we need to be aware of before we can become awake. Number one is what I call spiritual sleep. There are people who are asleep spiritually. When it comes to the matters of spiritual matters, they are fast asleep. They don't understand what is happening. Listen to me, not everything that looks physical, it is physical. Some of the things, they, they, they look physical, yet they are spiritual. They're going to affect you for the rest of your life. You need to be careful who lays hands on you. You don't go around as the year begins. Pray for me. Listen to me. If I don't live a clean life and you come in here, I lay hands on you. It is, we, we call that the transference of spirit. There are things that will come upon you. What I have will come upon you. You don't allow anybody to lay hands on you. Yes. 
There's Papa that side. Papa, pray for me. Pray. When now you keep on moving from one place to the other, you need people to lay hands on you. It is spiritual sleep. You will be blind spiritually. You will be confused. Things you they'll just become dermakar because we're now uhamba ungena. We call that a spiritual prostitute. Moya wakusanga sange. Mix masala, we are pasta, we are tandaza. We are now profit. I get tapo, get medzi. We are oil. Everything is on. We are saying this. Psychological sleep, economic sleep, political sleep. Praise the name of Jesus, and the moral sleep. The, the scripture is warning us about all these things. Oh, there are people who are asleep in this area. Psychologically, you don't even, when you try to reason with them, they are so blind, they cannot understand. Economically, we don't understand. We are into debts. We don't understand how money operates. So this year, we're going to help you to manifest in all these areas, to be able to be awake in all these areas. Nobody must take you for granted in these areas. Are you with me? The scripture warns us that such slumber is like a coma that will result in death, destruction, poverty, and generations ruin unless we are awakened. We need to come to a point where we are awakened so that we don't experience death, we don't experience destruction, but we are able to stand and do what we are supposed to do. Let me give you a verse. You are asking, Mfundisi, where is the verse? Praise the name of Jesus. Nali verse mtanam. Besenya evali ndabaya mtanda za nawe. Upume zintweni. Beso ungene intweni ugu hizo. Ika malengos malbongwe. Ephesians chapter 5. Ephesians chapter 5. Listen to me as you begin this year. Grab this verse so that it can keep you going for the rest of the year. Are you with me? Look at Ephesians chapter 5. Ephesians chapter 5. Listen what it says. It says, wake up, sleeper. Rise from the dead. And Christ will shine on you. Christ will never shine on you while you are dead, while you are sleeping. It says, be very careful then how you live. Not as unwise, but as what, Basalwani? As wise. Making the most of every opportunity. Because what? Read with me. Because what? The days are evil. Therefore, do not be what? Foolish. But understand what the Lord's will is. In this season, do not be foolish. But understand the will of God. Now listen to the very same verse when you read it with the message translation. It says, wake up from your sleep. I love it because this is from your sleep. It's your sleep. It's what you have decided to do. It's you who decided to sleep. Praise the name of Jesus. So the Bible says, wake up from your sleep. It says, climb out of your coffins. I love it. It does not say climb out of your coffin. It says of your coffins. It's a corporate request. There are coffins. We ourselves, Matanj, we have opened them. And we put ourselves and lie in that coffin. Black person, are you here? Nikona bandaba miyam. Nikona sizwa simyam. You call us South Africa. These are coffins. We ourselves, we have put ourselves in these coffins. And today we are deep in poverty. You look at Africans, the things that we do are crazy. I don't have time for that. But if you want to see that Africans, they love to put themselves in a coffin. There's no budget, but the moment the, somebody loses the friend or the, the, the mother or the father or the child, and we begin to spend unnecessary. They will even tell you, you know, the father of the house cannot be buried until the cow, the cattle is slaughtered. Yet there's no money. We put ourselves into a coffin of death unnecessary. Into the coffins of death. We, we put ourselves in those things. 
You tell a girl and say, be careful of this boy. Be careful of this boy. This one is a troublemaker. Somebody says, Kiamurata, Kiamurata Rati. You put yourself in a coffin. Sometimes we wonder, how did you choose this man? Put ourselves because the coffin looked attractive with hips. <laughs> Yet it was a coffin. One day now. While we were saying, watch out, you said, This is what I want. We put ourselves. But the scripture does not condemn us. You know what it says? It says, Climb out of your coffin. As much as you have climbed in, you can do what, Bazalwane? Look at the person next to you and say, we are climbing out. We are coming out. Look at the person next to you and say, I am coming out. I am coming out. In the name of Jesus, I am coming out. Come on, give God praise this morning. Give God praise. I am coming out. Climb out of your coffins. Christ will show you the light. When you climb out, Christ will show you the light. So watch your step. Use your head. I love that. It says watch your step and do what? Use your head. That is what the Bible says. Use your head. Make the most of every chance you get. And it says these are what? Desperate times. People are desperate and they will do anything. They will do anything. They will come and offer you everything. They will come and offer you. Don't be fooled, my dear. He comes in. He knows the language. He knows how to, to melt you. He knows He knows how to get you as a single parent. This man, he's after your, your, your package. He's after you. He comes in. He says to you what you need to hear. He says, you are the chocolate. You are the darling. You know, when I'm with you, you know, I see the stars. I see the moon. You know, he knows what to say. People are desperate. They are after something. Listen to me, child of God. This these are desperate seasons. These are desperate moments. Don't be fooled. Don't be deceived. These are difficult times. Some they will come in the name of Jesus and prophesy and they say they know him because they are after something. They are after your money. They are after your wealth and they will sound like preachers. These are desperate moments, my child. Awake, vuga, emakandeni, vuga, vuga. They have played with you enough. It's enough. But not in 2024. I am coming out of this in the name of Jesus. I am coming out of this. Am I speaking to somebody? I want to pray. I want to pray. I don't have much time because we're going to bless all of you this morning. We're going to bless all of you. We're going to pray for all of you this morning. But before we do that, the Bible says don't live carelessly. Unthinkingly. Make sure you understand what the master wants. I think right there, that is a wake-up call. That is a wake-up call right there. Even today, we still need a wake-up call. Let me just add these few things, just to tell you, to show you that we need a wake-up call. Did you know that 80% of male youth deaths are alcohol and drug-related? 80%. Of the youngsters who have died yesterday, 80% of them. And it's amazing that the state says 80% of male youth, male, because the devil is after the male seed. The drugs that are in our township, it is because the devil is after a male seed. I'm telling you, if you are sitting here and you are taking drugs, I want you to know that the devil is after your life. If you don't come out of that coffin, they're going to take you into the graveside with that coffin. You better change. I'm not going to come up and be soft to you, my dear. If you don't come out of that, tomorrow or next month, it will be too late. Today is the day. <laughs> Praise the name of Jesus. Today is the day. I've got many states here. I've got many states. 
Did you know that more than 66% of the beds registered, not only in 2018, but in 2022, did not have the father's details? 66% of the children were born. When they asked the, the, the names of the fathers, nowhere to be found. Yet the mother appears alone, Guleba Hot, and the, mother, the father's not there. So, Mtanam, before they tell you that they love you, be careful because when you give birth, you might be there alone. And the father won't be there. I'm just giving you a wake-up call. Last year, seven out of ten of all newborn babies were born to teenagers. The youngest were ten years old. This is what is happening. And you know what does that mean, Basalwan? This means a mother and her child will both receive a grant from the government. Sometimes even the grandmother. It's a grandmother, the child, and the grandchild. All of them, they receive a grant, a grant from the government. Africa, we need a wake-up call. We need, the, the list goes on and on. 63% of households are fatherless. 63%. It means we pet our mama, baba, baba, baba. And not that they are dead. They are busy playing games. They are busy playing games. Here was what breaks my heart. 75 people are murdered every day in South Africa. And there were 42,000 and above. 42,000 and more. Rapes reported in 2019 and, 20, and 2020. Now, I don't want to spend time on that one, but I just put those things to say to you. If we don't stand as a church, as a nation, and as individuals, we are doomed as a nation. It begins with me as an individual. I need to stand. I must never make babies that I can't look after. It begins with me as a man. We can't keep on messing our nation. It begins with you, my dear. You need to stand and do what you're supposed to do. But because I want to pray with people who are here to make our resolutions. Number one, how to respond to a wake-up call. That is what I needed to talk about. How to respond because we are talking about a wake-up call. How to respond. How to respond to a wake-up call. Three things and I'll be praying with you. Number one, are you ready? How to, to respond. The simple way of responding is to do what? Wake up. Number one. That's how you, you respond. You need to do what? You need to wake up. When that clock begins to ring, the first thing that you need to do is to wake up. What is to wake up? Is to open your eyes. Stop sleeping. Cease to sleep. Don't break the clock so that you continue to sleep. There are people, when they come into the house of the Lord, instead of opening their eyes, they get angry. Oh, who is this man to talk to me like that? Praise the name of Jesus. Wake up. Wake up. The Bible says, wake up sleeper. Rise from the dead and Christ will shine on you. And somebody put it in this way. You know, I even thought it was a broken English. I had to double check this with my wife. Oh, Henry David. Uti, our truest life is when we are in dreams awake. I thought it was a broken English. He says, no. Our truest life is when we are in dreams awake. He simply says, the best thing that you can, can do is to dream while you are awake. Because when you dream while you are asleep, there's danger. So dream while you are awake. Dream while you are alive, while you are awake. Because if you're going to dream sleeping, you're going to sleep. 
Look at the things that you are doing. So you are doing this. So you are doing this. So you are You were just stressed. You ate too much. So don't come to us so that we can interpret your dream. Let's look in the poop. Alice or Luto. Umaulalu Hile Uzo Pupara B. You want us to come and interpret these dreams? I'm helping you because some of you now you are in bondage because of your dreams. You come in my dreams, you want a, you, you want a cow. You did not leave any cow. But because you believe too much in your dreams, look at the person next to you and say, you see now he's talking to you. He's talking to you. You are troubled now because of a dream. Try not to sleep late and eat late. Try that tonight. Eat your dinner around about six. Drink some water, relax, take a walk and sleep around about eight, half past eight. Your problem, you watch these programs, you watch this scary stuff, scary stuff, and from there you go to sleep. No wonder why you dream like this. So number one, what do you do when there's a wake-up call? And number two, you get up. To wake up and to get up is not the same thing. Because you can wake up, but you are still in your bed. You are still on your bed. Are you with me, Mr. So I'm saying to you, wake up and after that you get up. To get up simply means to get out of bed. Get into a standing position. Get into a standing position. The scripture says, climb out of your, com your comfort or coffin. You need to get out of that thing that makes you to sleep. Leave that thing behind. Give it a name. What is it that makes me to sleep? What is it that puts me into into bondage? Get out of that. Get out of that. Somebody said, in between waking up from bed in the morning and going back in the evening, let something happen. God will bless that something for you. Let something happen. You moving out of that bed and coming back to it, do something. Do something and God will bless that thing. Many of us, we don't move from our position. We are still sleeping there. And we want God to bless that place. Praise the name of Jesus. And the final one, I said number one, you do what? You wake up. Number two, you do what? And then number three, you show up. You show up. You make an appearance. Present yourself there. Be visible. You present yourself there. You show up. The Bible says making the most of every opportunity. Are you with me? Making the most of every opportunity. Be very careful then how you live. Not as unwise, but as wise. Making the, the most of every opportunity. What you do, you show up. When there's an opportunity, as I'm going to give you an opportunity, even this morning, to present yourself on the altar. You know, when you do that, when you show up, God will do the rest. Listen to me. The secret to success, no matter how you feel, is get up. Listen, you get up. You dress up. You show up and you never give up. It does not matter what happened in life. If you want to be successful in life, did you hear what I said, Bazalwane? You get up, you dress up, you show up and never give up. Sometimes even if you are not feeling well, but you know what you do in the morning? You get up. Even if you are not feeling well, you take a shower and then you dress up. In the inside, you are not feeling well, but on the outside, you have dressed up. It's just the question of time. And you show up. You show up. Let 
numbers alone. When I was young, when I came to the Lord, I was that type of a person. Every altar call on Sunday, I was there. I will take a bath and show up. When the pastor says, I want to come and pray for you, I was there. I always showed up and look what the Lord has done today. Sometimes you don't have to understand. Sometimes you don't have to reason this thing. But all that you need to do was to do what? Is to show up. I want us to honor people who have showed up this morning. Thank you for showing up. Some of you, you did not have a good year. 2023 was not a good year. Some of you, just yesterday, you were, you, you were pop drunk. Yesterday. But that was yesterday. Thank you for showing up this morning. Thank you for showing up. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Some of you, you came with a boyfriend and you slept together last night. It does not matter. Thank you for showing up. But thank you. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for showing up into the right place. The key is in showing up. Success is not just about talent. It's about showing up consistently. Did you hear what I said? It's about showing up consistently. Did you know that 80% of success is showing up. 80% of success is showing up. Just show up. You want to be okay this year? Just show up. You want 2024 to be the best year? Even when you are feeling down, just show up. Even when they've insulted you at church, you know what you do what? You keep on showing up. Even when the worship is not that good, you know what? You keep on showing up. Even if they don't treat you well, you do what? You keep on showing out. Your children, they are rebelling against you. You do what, Barcelona? You show up. Your husband goes with another woman. You do what? You show up. Your wife is disrespectful. You do what? You show up. Your pastor does not, does not recognize you. You still do what, Barcelona? You show up. Watch what's going to happen in December. Your life will be better. Your life will be better. Thank you for showing up, sir. Thank you. I know your neighbor this morning say, Hey, Mark, we are poor and we are so good. Thank you for showing up. Shailando Babisat. Thank you for showing up. Young men, they said to you, Where now we are going to get away? No, it's just the resolutions. Thank you for showing up. My young girl, I know they've insulted you. They've said many things about you. But thank you for showing up this morning. Would you please stand on your feet? I also want to play my part this morning. I want to play my part because you have showed up this morning. I need to make sure that you're showing up. It is recognized. Praise the name of Jesus. It is a fact that you are here to begin the year in a better way. I want to pray with you. Tim Fundis, I'm here to show up. I'm here, I'm responding to a wake-up call. I cannot remain where I used to be. Father, in the name of Jesus, Yes, many of them, yes, Lord, we know, the beginning of the year, they are here to make resolutions. Thank you that they've showed up this morning. Jesus, you love those who are making commitments. We want to pray for them. We want to bring them into the presence of God. You are that person on Kajak Savior, said Pastor Matebula. You are talking to me. I want to give my life to Jesus. I want to start all over again this year. Yes, I have messed up. I have made many mistakes. But I want to start all over again this year. Pastor, would you please pray with me? I want to give my life to the Lord. In the name of Jesus, I need a fresh start. Wherever you are, before we close this service, just raise your hand quickly. I want to make a special prayer. God bless you, my dear. Utum Fundi, stand as an arm. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. I see hands all over the building. I see hands right at the back. I see hands. I see hands. You have showed up this morning. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. God bless you. I see those hands right at the back. 
Now I want all of you, all of you, we knew that you were coming. We are not surprised. All of you have raised your hand. I want you to take your, your belongings. Take your hand back. Take your Bible, whatever belongs to you. I want you to take a bold step. Show up right here on the altar this morning. Show up to the altar. Come on. Fear not. Church, encourage them as they show up. Show up. This is how you respond. This is how you respond. Come as you are. As you are. The Lord. The Lord is waiting. Come on, church. Come on, church. They are coming. Keep on clapping, they are coming. They are coming all over. Just come. We're gonna pray with you. Come on, church, come on, church. Don't be left behind. Don't be left behind. Don't be left behind. I am waiting for you. I'm waiting for you. Come as you are. Come as you are. gonna sing it for the last time you have showed up already you can't miss this opportunity come out of that coffin come out of that coffin in the name of Jesus gonna sing it for the last time I am waiting for you where now where now you are busy debating oh should I come or should I remain the Lord says I must just make this one just for you. Fear not. In the name of Jesus. I'm waiting for you. Come. Two. Two of you. Come. Come. Come quickly. Come. Yes. Thank you, my brother. Thank you. I knew you were there. I knew you were there. Yes. Don't be left behind. So figured. So figured. Masali. Masali. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord, the Lord come, come and show us you Thank you for coming. Come and show us you are. Blessed be the name of Jesus. to ask all of you who are here, just raise your right hand. Just raise your right hand. I want to make a special prayer for you. Just raise your right hand. I want you to pray this prayer after me. Is that okay? Pray this prayer after me, alright? And close your eyes and pray this prayer after me. Church, let's help them. Say, Lord Jesus, I thank you today. Lord Jesus, come to my heart. Be a Lord and the Savior of my life. Deva, from today, you will never, ever rule my life. I am coming out of this coffin. I am coming out of this bondage. I am coming out of my past. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Lord, for saving me. In Jesus' name, I am free. In Jesus' name, I am free. Come on, shout, I am free. In Jesus' name. 